on today's video, Kurt forgets how to start the car. Ready? Yep. Well, I don't understand it. AJ battles a mirror. I hate this. I hate this. It's not sunglass friendly. And Kurt tests the sensors. <laughs> Welcome back to Bros Talk Supercars. We are here with Maserati today and we have got a whole entire fleet of cars that we get to drive. Yeah, Kurt, I'm honestly so excited because today we mm. drive the MC20 Cello, the soft top version, and we are here in the beautiful rolling hills of Surrey at the Black Swan. But make sure you stay tuned because there is a sound of a V8 that you do not want to miss. That is all I'm going to say. Now we're actually off. Okay, baby. That only took way too long. What, duty? <laughs> Maybe, um, Ooh, uh, yes, let's nice. uh, rev it when we get away from the people that have just given us the 200,000 pound car. <laughs> The initial first thing from getting straight into the car and driving it, yeah. acceleration is, it's strong, it's powerful, it's brutal, it wants to go. The brakes, on the other hand, are not as sharp and as heavy as I wanted them to be, or I'm not pressing them hard enough yet because it is a real racing car. That's the thing. Oh no, it really is, you just have to press them. It has a great feel to it. it, has a great little roar to it as well I'm when you're moving. I one thing straight away, considering I'm a passenger and you've just gone hell for leather. The seatbelt's quite high, I feel like it's strangling me a little bit. I agree with this. Now it's I'm really not sure weird. if they've gone for that angle because it no, gives it more of a solid maybe position Maybe it needs you. to be tagged into under this chair part here. Because like yours isn't tagged into it and mine's not tagged into under the chair. There's that little clip there. Oh, you know just I mean? to hold it yeah, down so a little like bit. Yeah, so I feel like definitely needs to be held down, or else I'm going to be choked to death in a I weird way. No, so I when do I agree. drive, I'm going to do that and see if that helps, because I'm a bit small. You're six foot three, but I thought that would be something to think about. Oh, when you put your foot down, it wants to go. But the thing is, it doesn't want to just spin out and throw you around. It feels really sturdy. There is a little bounce to it, though, but that is because we're on the public yeah, suspension is... It's firm, but it's it's very forgiving. That's one thing I do have to say. Which is what you want, so. Don't cut. You got your sunglasses today, have you? Do you I remember? do. Yes, okay. I do. I do. I do. Oh, it, it, it's a, it is a brutal acceleration. To be fair, AJ, I do take that. Hey, smiley face. We'll take that. Maserati like to say that this is equipped with a revolutionary V6 Neutron engine. Ooh, yes. Oh, yes, please you. move thank over. You. Thank you very much there, mate. Now, the engine of this also utilizes a twin combustion system, which is actually used in F1, it is. So it's quite futuristic and it's real special. Yeah, and it has that eight-speed automatic transition, which I am very much enjoying. Ah! just goes into tunnel vision. It's the meeting point of Maserati's audacity and that open sky. What I really don't like is this. I can't see it properly with the sun. You've got 621 brake horsepower and 530 odd foot-pounds of torque. This top speed of this is 202 miles an hour and it'll go from 0 to 60 in under three seconds. I love it when you say under three seconds, you're like, well, it's like making it for the insurance company. It's like, honestly, it's only three seconds. Yeah, I know. But it's like, just probably 2.8, really. Tight here, isn't it? It is, I love it. In. It's great though, because they're taking it down the country road, so you can get a nice feel of it, and it just feel it scream! That V6 engine wants to roar when you're willing to put your foot down. It wants to scream heavy on them brakes. It's solid braking. The brakes do, I do like the braking on this. They seat, do. The seat position feels very, very nice. I feel like I'm in 
I'm I'm in the centre of the car. I'm very central. I'm very deep down. Yeah. I'm very central. And what's interesting, they're going to be bringing out a fully electric model of every single car that Maserati do I by know, yeah. 2025. Yeah, and then I'll think, well, they didn't really say, but by 2030, they said, we're going to go that way. And I was like, ooh, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it out loud. It, it's too early to say, because they yeah. want to say by 2030, we'll be fully electric. But there may be a new fuel, there may be a new engine that's Synthetic all of a sudden. Synthetic fuel is what I hope. It, it, we don't know what's going to happen. Spoke about <laughs> 0 to 60 under three seconds, but kind of going from that 0 to 100, 6.5 seconds. Yes. 130 miles an hour under 11 seconds, quarter mile 11 seconds or 131 miles per hour and 150. Not that we'll ever do that in the UK, supposedly. 15.4 seconds. They're precise on that one, they are. But you were laughing, weren't you? The rolling starts and things like that. There's some other facts that, okay. Well, this is we'll a thing. Fire, fire yeah, off. But, but loads of people do this as a rolling start. They'll, they won't time their times until they've done literally like a meter or something of their rolling start. So is that class of rolling start right there? Oh! The rolling start, five to 60, is down yeah. to 3.7 seconds. The problem when you've got a 200 grand car and that you see wasn't a even a pothole, that was like a, a deep, deep drain. Oh, 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 well, we like them motors, don't we? We like them. Ooh. It does just want to go with that three liter V6. I think we were sliding ever so slightly. I know, slightly I can, I can the hear the little bits that. on the road. I'm just gonna feel it. it. I feel like I need to remind you that they said they've got a track in the car for insurance purposes and no, so it's stolen, but they are gonna watch our speed. We're not going over the speed, we're, we're just, just hitting to the going speed. very aggressively yes, yes, to yeah. the speed. Okay. So we've been driving then in Corsa mode. There's three okay. different modes. You've got the Sport, you've got Corsa, and you've got the GT mode, and also there's a wet mode, which just starts you off, I think, in that second gear a bit slower, so you're not gonna spin up. Fancy jumping in, AJ? Oh, I need, like. jump. I need to jump. I'm looking at the red paint. It's, it's sparkling. This is some beautiful. It is very Look nice, at that isn't paint. it? Paint. I do have to say, whilst we just parked a bit, the inside, the interior of the car, the cockpit area, feels and looks really actually. It isn't too bad now that I've got the roof down, the sun shining in it, and I feel like I'm driving it. But like we it's did say- It's quite minimalistic, and I do the like the minimalistic. Screen, we uh, let's still... not talk about the screen. I'm enjoying Maserati right now, but the screen is, uh, you know when you like, you need room for improvement, that screen is more than, it needs more than an improvement. And what they've said, AJ, here is they've said they didn't want any crazy controls in the middle. They wanted to keep it simplicity and keep it all on the steering wheel. So yeah. you know what it all is, you know where it is, you know how to use it, nice and simple. The only thing is there's a lot of touch screen on there. Push the button, get out. Ooh, them doors. It's in coarser mode at the minute, so traction control is fully off. But you are in coarser, so it will spit, remember. Power down like it's still. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Maserati. Keep it going. Blown around this corner. Hello. They like to say it's like a holistic and immersive experience, but to be honest, all of them words. It's like they're trying to reinvent the wheel. They fundamentally say Maserati is cool, but something new. But every other brand does have a, a super sports car. Um, this feels very good though. I am usually a hard top coupe person, but the cello, the spider, I'm really enjoying this car. I don't know where we're going right now because I've lost the map. Oh, we're going oh, to oh. turn him right. We're going to turn right. Ooh. See, but the brakes, you have to press Ooh, the brakes. Yeah, them to yeah work. I know. Yeah. If you don't press them, you feel like the brakes, well, you feel like it doesn't have brakes. You feel like in a bit of a no man zone. Okay, this is. It's so summer, isn't it? Yeah, you know it's when you see, you know, rich people are like, I need my uh, soft top for the summer. Yeah, oh, I get it. It really is a little bit like, oh, we got some nice flowing corners here. I'll take that back, not flowing. No, <laughs> you got some nice like, left and right. Oh, just beautiful little corners here. Yeah. Maserati talks about some of its new features, but it says it in the name. MC20 refers to Maserati Corsa, the racing, and the 20 stands for simply 2020. <laughs> when it was 
out. <laughs> that is all it stands for. Quite nice and easy, actually, how they've done that. It's like I a Dell with an album. Are like in the car. You've got a Dell 20, a Dell 21, a Dell 30. She just got a range. Oh, she goes, baby! Woo! Whoa! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. Hate is a word I'd never use. But the you know me. Is I hate that. I don't think it's full I, HD I, quality. I it's, it's blurring my eyes with my glasses It's sunglasses. On. It's yeah. sunglasses. It's not sunglass friendly. Okay. Whoa! The brakes do feel... It, it, I like it because it's a car that I feel like you're not getting a track focus. You're not, to be honest, we drove the Ferrari the car 296 GTB. Brakes, aren't they? They're not warm. That's what it is. It's not even that. It's, it's, what I'm saying is the suspension is very, very good. It feels very nice because I feel like I would happily drive this forever. It feels like, not a Grand Tour, obviously, right, but it's, it's not. That's the thing, it's not meant to be a Grand Tour, even wow. though it does have the GT mode, but. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Too like the new Range Rovers. You can really feel the power on this. You know that you can go over 200 miles an hour in this car. When I felt like we were in the McLaren Atura, I, oh, I'm not going off that, that. This cello, or cello, a cello. 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 cello, MC20 Cello. It's obviously devoted to the great outdoors. But one thing I do like about this car is that they, which I'd like thought so that every car does this, has a 360 wind turbine experience so they could really check that the air didn't get into, even though I'm small, I can still feel the wind. But I you, like it. You've got your chair sat very high up. It's Wait, just I haven't so changed fun. this. How you had it? This car is developed in the Maserati Innovation Lab. One thing Maserati want to tell you and really do shout about, which we saw on the PR video, it's been developed in Italy. It's made in Italy. There are so yeah. many cyclists today. Woo! It's a true Italian sports car is what they say. I'm not enjoying these backcountry roads, I can tell you that. Come on, love. Give the Maserati a bit of space. Um... Press the launch button. Oh, oh wait. wait. Launch, launch on. on. Foot on the brake. Foot on the brake. Fully on the brake. Now put your foot down. Yeah. Fully down, you should. Yeah. 100%. Now let go. Oh, my God. Oh, baby! <laughs> <laughs> I love how simple that launch control was. Legit. It is. So easy. I know on a Mercedes, you have to click in, track control <laughs> off, this off, press that button, Why do this. Mercedes always do that? It's ridiculous. Or McLaren. Yeah. McLaren, oh, they're a killer. If Maserati, you... down to the point. Should we do it once more? Yeah, go on. Foot on the brake, fully down, just put your foot down fully. Fully down, yeah. I think the cyclists like that. Woo, <laughs> <They're> like baby! <laughs> oh. oh. I thought it was a doctor. doctor. Not police. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. We just watched the longest presentation video on multiple yeah, Maseratis. Yeah. I can happily say that it has all of the the parking sensors, the auto braking, and, and they say it like it's a new thing, but yeah. it's got 360 cameras, which I think and the reversing I'd like to be camera. thinking about that it's got a reversing. I'd be worried if it didn't have a reversing camera. Let's put it that way. And also the wing mirrors as well. Like the, it's got wing mirrors. Yeah. And, We have to talk about weight. Yes, um, with a hard top, soft top, we've got to talk about it. Usually, this is a lot heavier. Usually, it's bulking. This is only 65 kg heavier. So, to be honest, it's one of me heavier. Yeah, which actually isn't too bad at all in reality. It's such a nightmare just... touchscreen this is, because it obviously it's such a yeah, solid yeah. car. Every time you accelerate or do anything, you can't. Yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. Ask him. Ask Wireless his... charging pad for an object detected. Like... Do you like the car? Yeah, nice, man. <laughs> ah, thank you. He liked the car. <laughs> Cyclists like the car. It's a win for everybody. It's a run. <laughs> Why? We pay so much for roads. Okay, now I can't read any of these as you're driving. I know, you it's not me. It's I'm trying to avoid this. We pay so much road tax and then we get screwed over with every pothole available. We're in Ripley, aren't we? Very I nice do, um, Yeah, and then just press the parking brake. Push it in. Okay. Well, I'm not in... What, what so, am I just so, doing then? We'll pull it. Yeah, now it's on par. They've got their own version of Elon. Look at that. Yeah, I know, I did think that, which is that very That is good. not superficial, they said. That's not superficial. 
Uh, that is actually to make it easier to get in and out for them tall people or older people. It does make a big difference. Doors are actually crap. Shocking. No. It's, it's a really strong arm, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, it's like, a, like, like I'm holding something and I've just nearly oh, no. pulled a muscle to open that door. They're a bit heavy. They could make them lighter, I will say that. You've got someone behind you. Do you like the car? I'm stressed. I don't like cameras when they're not so precise. Okie dokie. Climb aboard, mate. Climb aboard. We've got to get back. Honest opinion, right now driving this car, doors heavy. We will, we've got to be honest about that. It's quite heavy and quite a bit of a shoulder barge to get out. Um, that I hate. My sunglasses, because there's like a blue tint on these sunglasses. Can yeah. you see it? The blue tint goes against the light and in the sun, because the whole point, what you got there? a soft top. Are you on about that? that? Doesn't matter, any sunglasses, you can't see it. But the, the whole point of having a soft top, I would presume, is to. My sunglasses, I can't see have it. Have the roof off, and when the sun glare catches it. Even, then... even without your sunglasses on. That's up we like. Sun glares on that and it doesn't work. That, that's one of the things. My opinion, I've only drove this for two minutes. Me, it was, truthfully, the brakes hadn't warmed up, so they, um, obviously, that's just what it is, so they weren't as strong as I wanted. No, but they, they they're are, soft, they and are then they go good, hard. But they are good brakes when you press them solid. Um, the acceleration is brutal in it. Could be a little bit better for, I don't know, I just feel like... No, actually, there's a solid good acceleration. The acceleration feels very, very There's nice. a lot of power to the car. You can feel it bouncing around the road. But right, it we'll literally... Go, we'll go around that tunnel again. We'll but it more. literally, on corners, yeah, it does thing. grip to the road. Okay. We're gonna get the, uh, the tunnel noise. Oh! oh. <laughs> Do that once more. See, it wanting to slide out then, yeah, so slightly. Oh. No, no, we'll take it back, we'll take it back. We've got to be too, I'm too kind, I'm too nice. Too nice. Okay, we're giving him all the space he wants because I'm, I'm not. I, do you know what I keep doing? I keep doing this to look if someone's behind me because I'm not. Yeah, you. Because my eyes like you don't can't. actually get it. Film it, Curtis. Please film that. Try and just. You, you, you can't. Like, can you do you even? Yeah, you can just see your face in the reflection. Like, yeah, and that and that reflection that you're seeing, what I'm seeing, like when I'm trying to. Like, like, I can see you in it. Oh. I can see the road, but I can see you. And yeah. that just catches but you. I understand that catches it. you off when you're doing a quick but walk. But I understand it because obviously you, you can't what? see anything behind you. Like you can't. But would you, if it was higher, maybe. No, they just need to use a different glass. I feel, or they needed to put a little rim around it or something to just block out the sun in some way. Okay. I don't know how. Yeah, I, I understand what you mean. Like, or what's that? What's that? Like on the iPhone, you buy that glass that's really expensive, so you don't get the glare. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry. but then you wouldn't get. Then people, you yeah, wouldn't be able yeah. to see from the side. That's what it sort of is. Oh, we gotta go home. Nobody wants to go home. Feels like an everyday driver yeah. in that sort yeah, of aspect. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, you got the noise. Um, you know, you've got the power. But the brakes and the acceleration are soft, even though we are in. Corsa mode right now, which to be honest, I would always drive in that sort of mode if I got a car like this because I'm not going to drive this every single day. Anyway, that's probably usually the passenger's problem. When you drive a car, you're fine when you hit the bottle. The passenger's like, What have you done? I think the MC20 is an awesome car for Maserati moving forward, and it really just stayed the fact that they want to do profitability, they don't want volume, they want revenue and quality, and that makes me very happy because, well, Ferrari's done it. And it's working bloody good for them. Yeah. And their stock price. It, it does. <laughs> and we're home, and I've just pressed something on the camera. <laughs> so we, GT mode, as so though we've not driven it in anything but GT mode. Just... Well, that was lovely. It's a really fun car to drive. Would love to take it onto a track and see what it's actually all I about. Feel like, no, I think. It... If we went on track now, I think it'd wreck my experience of what it is. What do you, do you mean? Know what I mean? No, I don't know what you I mean at all. Even be... 
a more aggressive, like the other cars that they show us on the PR video. It is a race car. The small winding roads are great for it to get that feel of throwing it around, but you can't release the true potential and power of this car on them roads. Very good Maserati. Very good. Mm. Oh, and you remember that little roof problem that we said in the original coupe? Yeah. Well, I love how they've fixed it in this because one. Because they've just left the roof Removed down. the roof. Yeah. Good idea, Maserati. Save yourself some money. There's a will, there's a way. There is. Yeah. <laughs> oh. You're okay, you need, you need strength train, is that what you're saying? <laughs> Blim him more than that. No, I do like the exposed carbon fibre on that door, though. I do it's love like it. Carbon monocoque. Yes, it's, it's very sexy, isn't it? Very sexy. So the fact of the video, the well-known Trident logo of Maserati all came about from the Statue of Neptune in their hometown, the loved place of Bologna. Plus, wasn't it known for making spark plugs? Yeah. Well, before Maserati made automobiles, it was spark plugs. Okay. Blimmin' Let's check hell. the brakes first. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you've enjoyed the video. We've had a wild, wild time it's driving these cars. It's been lovely. Please like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought about the MC20. Would you have one? Would you have it in that colour scheme? Let us know, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I made the edit. Yeah. <laughs> This video is powered by Food Heaven. It's all plant-based foods. Go try it out.